Okay, this is the story about photos. What you need to do is you need to decide very clearly on the sort of things that you want to show, right? Remember, for anybody out there who wants to have their photograph taken, the most useful thing you can ever think if you're on a photo call or a red carpet is you look down the lens of the camera and you think, I am beautiful and I have a secret. <laughs> well, that's Try right. it. No, no, try it. Try it right now. Go do, do selfie yourself and think, I am beautiful. And I have a secret, and you will see a whole world there. Because the trouble that act, the trouble with actors is what we're attempting to do is to freeze ourselves in the photo that we want to have. No, 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 no. What no. you actually have to do is you actually have to create the moment in which you want something, or you're hiding something, or whatever it might be, and allow the photographer to photograph the arc of that moment. Is the arc exactly? Is the arc? And remember, when you do pictures, you really have to have a plan. You have to have a plan or the things that you want to show, that you want to say to others, because that is the most important thing. You cannot go there and expect that the uh, photographer does all the job for you. You know, you have to prepare yourself. You have to understand what are these profiles that you want the others to give you. You have to understand what is um, your, um, you know, your weaknesses what are your uh, strengths what you want to project as an actor what kind of roles you want them to give you that is very important if you don't do that then you're lost and then it happens that you are you're afraid of this lens but and you get in the, it's the contrary you have to give a lot of things to the um, to the lens you have to give exactly what you want and um, that uh, it can vary. There is various things that you can do, for, you know, based on the profiles that or the characters that you that you think you you can portray. That you can really think on this phrase. Not only you know, I'm 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 beautiful and I have a secret, but um, other things that really gives you into that mood, into that character, into what you think that you want to express with that or, you know, and in, it's not putting faces, it's actually, you know, it's, it's actually having this arc of, of what this phrase means to you. It's, it's um, you have to give things, it's not that, you, have uh, to, you know. You have to, even if it's just you're thinking something, look, Lucinda, you come across as an educated, strong woman, sort of just from looking at your little thumbnail photograph there. So what you want to do is you want to have something where you're thinking, don't mess with me. Or you're thinking, you think you can mess with me. Or you're thinking, you'll never beat me. Or you're thinking, why don't you want to beat me? Whatever it might be, it's the thought that the photograph has to capture. It's the story that you're telling in the in the picture. You have to tell stories. You have to, you know, uh, to understand that what we are doing is uh, we're asking things to the others. We are. It's a dialogue. Also, the pictures. It's not, you know, it's not that they have to come to you. No, you 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 really also have to wanting to to say things. So if you don't have this plan then you're lost so it's it's like have four five six of these phrases have these four five or six uh, profiles that you want to that you think that you can you can do you know and prepare yourself everything and remember it's not there to accidentally capture you looking good okay that's a side effect of being in action having an active thought in your head when they hit the button okay which is at the end of the day their job now I've seen a something a photo shoot, which is quite a quite a spectacle because what she does is she goes, she goes like this. It's like I'm going into one thing, they take a picture. I'm going into another thing, they take a picture. So what she's doing is she's constantly moving between these these states, ideas, and thoughts, and she's presenting herself to the camera. Now you say quite an interesting thing here, uh, Lucinda. If I can find where my damn pointer is, because it seems to be absolutely. Where the hell is it? Okay. Is it kind of the same with a microphone? She says... Make love to the camera. Yeah, so let me get back here. She says, so is she saying kind of the same with the microphone? Make love to the camera. No, this is an interesting point. And it's good that you should bring this up. What happens is you're not going to make love to the camera, but the camera wants to make love to you. Just remember that the camera is completely besotted by you. It's trying to work out what you're thinking, trying to work out what you want, trying to work out what your secret is. So 
the thing is you don't have to make love to the camera you're already beautiful and perfect and divine in your own particular way the camera wants to be able to see that the camera is completely non-judgmental what happens when we feel uncomfortable in front of a camera because we're projecting ourselves on seeing the picture afterwards that's being taken and we don't know we don't have any idea what it's going to be like and thus we go right and it becomes false because we're trying to freeze that image all the photographs taken of us when we were in action we're in conversation they're animated they're alive they're they're filled with thought and sparkling with those moments that are going on what we have to do is when we're having a photograph taken is we have to we can't leave it down to accident as Asumta says we actually have to make a list of the things that we want to show and come up with an interesting thing to think we might want to think why have you why did you hurt me or you might want to think of you've never met anybody like me before and then there is something that I, I say in these uh, courses that I have, you know, which is which is we are trying also to, you know, to 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 understand what kind of profiles you want and what kind of, um, you know, characters uh, the people um, are going to give you and uh, etc. And there is a point also when 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 it's interesting, because when you are in front of a camera, not only is that you have to give things, but also you have to also hide things, you know, and you can go from hiding to actually wanting to communicate. And uh, that is what it, what it gives me the, the, the actual flow of the, uh, of, you know, of uh, the photo shoot of the photo shoot. And that also is, um, you know, try to think that you command, you command the click. It's not it's not that I'm, you know, uh, that he's going to tell me what to do. No, I'm going to tell him what to do the click, you know. It's, you have um, the idea that sometimes, uh, you know, when, in photo shoots, that, that you have to really give yourself and whatever the photographer. No, 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 no. You know, they want things, you know, because they are, you know, they are, but we want other things. And the objectives have to match. If you don't have any objective, then you know, you're going to lose an opportunity to really, um, to really tell what you want to tell. That's about it, really. Uh, it says here, Neil, there is no camera. No, th there is a camera, but if it helps you, uh, imagine that the camera is Margot Robbie, and she just wants to jump your bones. <laughs> and you've got all the attention, more attention than you've ever had in the world. Not only do you have attention, but they're going to they're gonna take a snapshot of that attention. I learned virtually everything I've ever, started my journey to understanding everything about film acting, started in a, a, a session of photos with a photographer in Los Angeles called Vincent Versace. And he said one thing to me, and that was like the world exploding in front of me. He said, hide in the lens. Hide what you're thinking in the lens of the camera. Now, what you have with a camera is you have somewhere where you can put your most intimate thoughts, fears, wishes, wills, actions, everything that can go in there. And that's a really good way to think of your relationship with the camera. When you're acting for the camera, you're not looking directly into it, but you're hiding things inside it. That's, if there's anything that you can take away from, from today, apart from relaxation, concentration, forgetting about character, good and bad, all of those different things. One of the most useful things that you will get is this relationship you have with this object, which is doing nothing more than wanting to see what we're thinking, feeling, and wanting. Is is you know is the eyes of someone? Is a witness? Is a is your friend? He wants to know. Uh, you know that is what you and, have. And to remember, say. we're not showing it to the camera. We are we're hiding, hiding it. it into the camera. This is when you tell a joke, and you realize that only one person is going to get that joke, but that's why you're telling the joke. That person is the camera. Thank you very much to all of you. Have a very nice weekend and we'll see you next Thursday. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Neil. He says that, that helps that helps a great deal. And Lucinda says, I do have object objectives and ideas. Thank you both so much for your advice. Love you guys. Thank you, Lucinda. And remember, uh, we are here every day apart from Tuesdays at 6 p.m. in the afternoon in Spanish time in Spanish. On Thursdays, we're here at 8 p.m. in English. Next week, we're going to be reviewing some more uh, showreels. I've got some, a few that, that people have sent me, which are, which are very interesting. Remember, if to subscribe to all the things that we're doing, follow us on, um, on Instagram. Uh, Sumta's Instagram is fascinating right now because uh, she's going through a lot of old material and stuff that from f throughout all her career which is actually it's 
amazing stuff actually. That's it, Assumpta Cerna, which is pretty easy to remember. Remember, you can always find us at these email addresses. Whatever you got, remember the reason that we are here and we started doing this when the whole pandemic started and the confinement is that we wanted to share what we did, uh, what we've done, what we do and what we know with everybody out there because there's a lot of nonsense and there's a lot of things which aren't useful that just make actors depressed and not want to do it anymore and I think that's bollocks, quite frankly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and uh, we'll be back again tomorrow at six. Yes. Bye for now. Oh, and if you're in Madrid, you can come see us at the... Oh, yes, it's true, uh, at the Espacio Rastro. At Espacio Rastro at 11 a.m. Yes. tomorrow morning, where we're going to be talking about uh, women and film culture. And art. And art. Huh. So there you go. Bye for now. Bye. Lots of love.